Okay, we're on to our next step here. So what we're gonna do is we have all four of these pieces and we're gonna take our glue stick and we're gonna glue our hat onto the head. Okay, so just be careful when you're working with these that have the oil pastel on them that remember you don't want to like smear across them because all of these um, the colors will smear. So take it, put it upside down and you can apply your glue just to the bottom edge of the hat essentially and put it onto, can you see that? Put it onto your head. Um, position it where you want it. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then you get your the piece of paper that has your name and everything on the back. And you're going to position it so that everything is fits on your paper. Okay, so now what you do with these two pieces together, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put glue on the entire back side of this. So let's all do that step together. You wanna get around on the edges really good. Okay, and then Position it on your paper in the middle um, from left to right, okay? And press it down. And again, when I'm pressing, I'm being really careful not to smear that. Okay. Next, what I already did here is I drew in the the neck um, and the shoulders, okay? And again, think about being outside. I know it's a beautiful fall day, but um, or at least today, but imagine you're in the winter here and you're wearing your jacket. So you've got like this, um, you know, big collar, warm, cozy collar, this is the front of my jacket. It's called a placket where your zipper would go under and then you got your, you have your neckline. Can everybody see that? You have your neckline here. And then I have my, my shoulders. These are very straight, broad shoulders. Okay. So I think I need to add a little bit more glue here. Um, then you want to glue down your mittens. So again, when we glue down our mittens and they're gonna overlap with our face a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna position our mittens like that with the thumbs pointing outward. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna put glue on the back of our mittens. We're all doing this simultaneously here. And we position it like this. And this glue isn't wanting to stick. Um, here we go, add glue to the other one. And put it down. Yeah, this glue is just not sticking great. I hope yours is doing better. Really load it up with glue. Okay. So everyone should be at this step now. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to get into painting. So 
um, actually one more step before painting. So we are again envisioning ourselves in a beautiful snowy setting. So we are going to um, draw in some snow in our background, some snowflakes coming down. And so you can do this kind of um, like dash. And again, it's going to be kind of hard to see this, but, and snow is in a, comes down in a very random pattern, right? And so when we paint this, these snowflakes are really going to show up. Okay, so we have some snow in the background. Okay, now everybody can get out the paints. And what we want to do is we want to paint our, let's see, let's start with our face. Okay, so what color are your eyes? And let's see, I'm going to scooch over a little bit. with my eyes are a blue green so if you can see what i'm doing over here um, i'm mixing a little blue and a green and i'm using the top of the lid to kind of test my color and um a little bit more we don't have a white mix in so it just means you want to dilute it and what is dilution dilution is adding more water and that will lighten our color and I'm only painting the inside iris right because these other areas of our eyes stay white There we go. And I'm realizing that a paper towel would be really beneficial here. So maybe if um, there's a helper or teacher in the classroom that can give kids each a little piece of paper towel, you might want to have that handy. Um, okay, then I'm going to go on to if you have any exposed hair uh, from the top. I'm going to do paint in my eyebrows next. Um, and then I'll do my lips next. So I'm rinsing out my brush, dabbing it onto paper towel. And I'm going to do, again, that same dilution technique. So I'm going to add quite a bit of water. Can you see what I'm doing over here? I'm um, taking my red and I'm just kind of diluting it down right here because I want a really soft red. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in my lips. And I'm going to keep a little bit of a, a shine on part of that. I'm not going to fill in all that. Okay. And then if your skin color is something other than white, you can fill in your skin tone. Um, you could do a mix of some brown. And I'm dipping here and you could do a little bit of yellow and again this is about dilution so adding I think I need quite a bit more yellow so you just kind of mix um, yellow and brown work really well together um, and you could even add a warm tone a little bit of a red in there and then just keep diluting it 
to until that matches your skin tone. Okay, so you can do that if you want. You can leave it white if that is what works for you. Next, I'm going to paint my mittens and my hat and they're gonna be the same color because again, they're a matching set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do for my hat and mittens, I'm gonna do kind of a pink tone. So that's just um, with this set, it's gonna be a really diluted red to get kind of a pink tone. Uh, yeah. And then just the mittens and the hat, okay? So you just follow the line here and everyone can be doing this together and you don't have to worry about this covering up your oil pastel because oil and water repel each other so I'm just filling in painting my my mittens Just the mittens. And then I'll go on to the hat. Okay, so how about everybody be doing that and then we'll check back in in a second and do our background. Okay, so here we have the everything painted in. So what I did after I painted my mittens and my hat, then I painted the collar and shoulders. And lastly, I painted the background. So again, you can use that same technique I showed you before, where, um, so you take your palette here, and this becomes kind of your mixing area. So for your sky, um, what I did is, again, we wanna use, um, this dilution technique, right? So I took a bunch of blue and I kept adding water by dipping my paintbrush here. Um, and then I added a little tiny bit of violet in there because I thought that was really pretty. And you get a good amount here. Now when you do your background, um, you want it pretty wet. Because as you'll see, just for an example, well, this has good coverage here, but it's a tiny paintbrush, right, for a big background, and then your your paintbrush starts getting really dry. So um, just make sure that you have a good amount of moisture on your brush, and then that's how you get your background filled in. So that's a lesson for today. Hope you're having fun with it. Okay, bye-bye.